Hey guys, it's me, Cubix. As most of you know by now, there are multiple versions of this cube, the GAN 11M Pro. So here I have the normal frosted plastic version, but of course it also came in a couple other varieties, including UV coated, as well as one with a soft coating that's supposed to provide more grip and gives it a slightly different finish. And that one, although you can still buy on the cubicle, first of all, costs $70 and isn't all that durable. So I've seen some pictures floating around on Facebook where the coating on their soft texture GAN cubes are starting to peel and they've had it for about a month. And of course, in order to understand more about the cube, I had to buy one myself. So yeah, I paid 70 bucks and now we have this thing. It's a GAN 11M Pro with the soft coating. Here it is. This is the soft coated texture GAN 11M Pro. This is the standard one with the frosted plastic for comparison. You can see that this frosted plastic actually is more reflective than this soft coating material. I know exactly what this is. I'll get to that in a second. You can see just all around, the colors are a little bit more pastel-like. And part of that is because it's not reflecting the light as much, but I think part of it is also the coating. I think the red is the most obvious. So even without any light reflections like right here, you can see that this one is just more, it's a little bit more pinkish, whereas this is like a more saturated red. I've seen people describe the coating on this cube as sort of like a rubberized material similar to what you would find on gaming peripherals like mice and keyboards. I don't know if that's the clearest description of it because here I have a gaming mouse and this is like actually a solid piece of rubber. It feels nothing like this at all. On the other hand, there are things that I own that are very similar to this in feel, such as this, which is a ThinkPad laptop, which has sort of this like soft feeling texture. And yeah, it's, it's very similar. But I'll be honest, as soon as I touched this cube, I said I knew what the coating was. And it's because it took me all the way back to, oof, like 2010 or 2011? No, I think like 2010. So this is a long story, I'll keep it short. When I first started YouTube, I actually filmed a lot of my videos using an iPod Touch, and I had a case on that iPod Touch that had a soft coating material. And in fact, when I bought it on Amazon, I think it was almost the exact same description as uh, what this cube is being described as, which is this soft feeling, soft texture coating. And that case, much like this cube, had this really nice matte finish. It had a better grip to it, which is sort of the marketing feature of that case at the time. And yeah, I loved it for all of one month. But being an iPod Touch, I had it in my pocket a lot, and after a month, the thing started to peel. And once it started peeling, it just kept peeling. Like the entire thing basically fell apart shortly after that. What I realized was that that case was actually this really cheap plastic shell that they had just sprayed some coating onto. So it's pretty obvious, I think, that what GAN did was they took the standard 11M Pro, maybe they sanded it down or not, it doesn't really matter, but they took the 11M Pro and they essentially sprayed on some coating material to give it this different finish. I remember there was a phase in my life when I wanted everything to have the same texture as my iPod Touch case. And so I looked online to look for rubber coatings that I could do myself. And inevitably, one of the things that I found was, and one of the most common results was this thing. Plasti Dip. You can see on the can right here, it, Plasti Dip is a multi-purpose rubber coating. It's basically a rubber coating that you spray onto things, and it's most commonly used for mechanical parts that don't really get touched a whole lot. For example, automotive parts. People will spray this over their cars to give it a different finish, give it kind of a matte look, and it's really, really cheap. I got this on Amazon for about 16 bucks, and I decided to try it out. I took a standard Maylong 3M, something that was kind of cheap and something that I didn't necessarily care that much about, and I applied a couple coats of this Plasti Dip onto a second Maylong so that I had something to compare against. And yeah, I mean, here's, here's the result. For comparison's sake, we'll look at the GAN cubes again. And you can see the frosted plastic one here has this reflection coming in from the lights. This one's just a little bit more muted, a little bit more pastel-y. You can definitely see it here on the red side. Very glossy in comparison to the soft texture coating. And here's the first Maylong 3M, which is basically stock. You can see that there's some manufacturing lines on this blue side here. You can see a little circle on the center cap. Um, and it's even a little bit glossy, even though this is frosted plastic. In comparison, this is my Plasti Dipped Maylong 3M. You can see it's much less glossy. I think the biggest difference is that on this one, the one that's Plasti Dipped, 
you can barely see these lines on here anymore. And especially on the center cap, it just looks completely flat. Whereas on this one, you can see that little circle here. It almost looks like a tic-tac-toe game. Obviously, it doesn't affect the turning. And obviously, you guys are watching this video, so you can't feel the cube, but let me demonstrate just how big of a difference it makes in terms of the grippiness. So if I take these two cubes and I try to slide them along the table, you'll see that one goes way further than the other. Again, I'll put the stock one on top and the plasti dipped one on the bottom. I'll try to be a little bit scientific about this and try to push them at the same time. Yeah, so you can see that this one just slides along a lot further than this one. If you take a closer look at the actual texture of the plasti dip, you can see that there's like a little bit of pebbling on the actual puzzle. It really does provide quite a nice grip, and overall I think it looks really good. I will note that on the GAN Cube, this coating is a really smooth finish. It is grippier than the stock one, but compared to my Plasti Dipped Cube, where you can see a little bit of the speckling on the pieces, on the GAN 11 Pro, the soft coated texture just looks a lot more flat. So this isn't a tutorial on how to Plasti Dip things, but it's super easy. Basically, you go outside, you bring the cube with you. If you want, cover the holes so that you don't get Plasti Dip on the internal mechanism of the cube. Set it on some surface. Make sure, again, you're outside and it's well ventilated. But you take your Plasti Dip, shake it up a little bit, and just do three quick sprays. Let it dry for a little bit. Turn the cube, do the other side. You're done. In total, it was literally about five seconds of spraying and about an hour or two of waiting around. And, I mean, that's it. It was quick and dirty. Basically, I would say 90% of the way, same result as this. In fact, I would say that the Plasti Dip is grippier than the soft coated texture on the GAN 11 M Pro. So if you're someone who wanted or was interested in this new texture that the GAN Cubes have and might have in the future, but you didn't really want to spend 70 bucks knowing if it was worth it or not, that's okay. You can actually just buy a can of Plasti Dip and do it yourself to see if this is something that you might be interested in. But aside from that, there is good news and bad news about the GAN 11 M Pro with the soft coated texture, as well as your own DIY job using Plasti Dip if you so choose to. The bad news is that Plasti Dip, as well as any soft coating material on cubes like this, are semi permanent. Meaning, if you apply it to something that doesn't receive a lot of contact, such as automotive parts, it'll last a really long time. It's waterproof, it's semi scratch resistant, and yeah, it can last a long time. But on things that come in contact a lot with other things, for example, iPod touch cases uh, or Rubik's cubes, it's not really the best thing. Because even if you have short nails, just the act of touching the puzzle and turning it with your sweaty, oily hands, over time you're going to peel a small part of this coating. And once you peel a little bit, it just keeps spreading. So this texture is super nice. I love how it feels, it looks really good, it's not gonna last forever. And on a cube that costs $70, it's really hard for me to recommend something like this on a cube this expensive. The good news is Plasti Dip is super cheap. Again, I got this for about 15 bucks and I could just recoat it anytime I wanted to. So it's up to you whether or not you want to soft coat your cubes or not. I'm not here to tell you what to do. All I'll say is it's a nice finish. It really does provide quite a bit more grip to the puzzle and it's super easy to do. Literally just 10 seconds of work and a couple hours of waiting can really transform your cube and I think it's fun to experiment with. If you guys are interested in buying the actual GAN 11 Pro with the soft texture coating, I'll have a link in the description. Make sure to use my discount code for 5% off. I'll also leave a link to the Plasti Tip that I bought on Amazon if you're interested in doing it yourself. I'd love to hear whether you guys are interested in trying this yourself or if you've already tried it, what you think of it. But overall, I do think it's cool that GAN is experimenting with these different textures and this cube looks amazing. It's one of the best looking cubes I've ever had. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, toodles. Haha, <laughs> all the pieces feel the same, don't they?